What is up guys, Tech right here, back with another video for you guys today, and today is gonna be Android Customs Episode 2. Today we have Ant.Tech on here, make sure to like this video, as well as subscribing to Ant Tech. the link will be in the description down below if you would like to go ahead and check out his channel. He has a really, really good channel with some great content on there. But yeah guys, let's get right into the video. My name is Anthony, and you might know me from my channel, Anth.Tech. And I also do technology stuff, just like Stefan. And you can go and check out my channel down below. And also, huge thanks to Stefan for inviting me onto Android Customs. And this is going to be episode 2. And my smartphone of choice is going to be the SA Plus. And this is wrapped in the slick wraps, ebony wood wrap, which looks awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the specs and how I use this device on my daily basis. Okay, so first off, I'm going to give you a little bit of specs on the SA Plus. And it has a 1440 by 2960 display which is actually a little bit odd, and that's because of the ratio, which is 18.5, which is different than the normal 16 by nine. And that is why it has that odd resolution. But other than that, this has an 83.32% screen to buy ratio. That means that had that infinity display is really awesome and minimizing the bezels, which make the phone look great. And also the camera is 12 megapixels, which is also snapping those awesome photos that you see taken on the S8 Plus. For graphics, it's also running the Adreno 540 with 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is going to power you through your day, running like Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. 4 gigabytes of RAM is plenty. Now the battery life on here, it has 3,500 milliamp hours, meaning that that's the capacity of the battery. Now I'm receiving about a day, day and a half on average use, on heavy use, about a day. So I definitely like this phone, especially for the battery life, and just a great smartphone. So let's go ahead and head into what apps I use on my S8 Plus, and no, I do not use a custom ROM or launch or anything. I just use the default one coming from Samsung out of the box. Okay, so here you can see on my screen, and as you can tell, there's not too many things on here. But on the left side, I do have a widget, and this is just a weather one. So here I can see what it's like outside. And then also up top, I have a camera and gallery. Below that is Google Chrome and also calendar. So you can see what's going on for the day. Below that is clock and then the YouTube folder. Here on the YouTube folder is the YouTube app, Creator Studio, Google AdSense, and also subscriber account, so I can see what's going on, then chase. Then into the Google folder is Google search, Google maps, Google drive, play music, play movies and TV, Google duo, which I don't really use, but it's still in here, Google photos, the play store, Google home, earth and translate. And then the next folder is social media. And here is Twitter, Snapchat, Google hangouts, Facebook, Instagram and car recorder. And the car recording app is featured in my top eight Android apps, the last episode, and there'll be a card above, you can check that out. Then here in entertainment is IMDB and then Netflix. Then here under home and other is Nest, so I can see the cameras, Philips Hue, so I can control the lights behind my desk, and also lights in my room. Also Chipolo, so I can track different devices, and Parcel Track, so I can track different packages that I've been receiving. And also Dashlane for password managing. Below that is shopping, and here's just Best Buy and Starbucks. Then after that under games is Mario Run, Clash of Clans, Spinner, don't judge me, but I still have it in here. Then also Roll the Ball and Mini Golf 3D. Now those two are also featured in the top 10 Android apps. Also card above for that one, same as car recording. Then here I have VR, and here's just Oculus and Samsung VR. Next to that is going to be Spotify, and down below is the phone, messaging, and then Gmail. Okay, that's going to wrap up my part in Android Customs. And again, this is the S8 Plus, and that's how I use it on a daily basis. And thank you again, Stefan, for inviting me onto the show.